Hello all, Alison here. Welcome to Words and Pictures and another episode of Books, Books, Books. It's another art journal flip through today, just having a look at some pages in this square format journal, which came from hmm, a store which sadly is closed down now called Paper Chase in the UK, which is a, it was a, a, a right back into my teens. It was the kind of place I loved to hang out and look at stationery and books and pens and all sorts of gorgeous things and wrapping paper and cards and things like that long before I mean decades before I started on this arty journey um, it, when I went up to London paper chase always had to be part of um, a day out in London but it's um, yeah sadly now gone um, but these journals were um, relatively cheap really it's not it's not brilliant paper actually I'll tell a lie it's it's quite sturdy card oh I have already I've already glued together all the pages so I've glued together two pages all the way through here to give me a sturdier surface to work on and as you can see I'm about halfway through this one about halfway I would say um, so yeah still lots to fill up and yeah I, Although I bought the book quite a long time ago, I think I only started journaling in it quite recently. I'm wishing that I had done what I know people, amazing journalers like France Papillon does, which is date stamp every single one of her layouts. <clears throat> and then I would have a much clearer idea of when these come from and, and how far apart they are. Because it, it isn't a daily well, journaling is almost daily for me, but it's not always in the same journal. So when you're turning the pages of a journal, it's not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It might be a Monday in 2017, a Monday in 2019, a Wednesday in 2020. So, yeah, th they dip around. Anyway, clearly when I started this one, I had a quick flip before I started this video. I was having a butterfly thing. Uh, <laughs> And oh look, well, so I can I can sort of date it because that is one of my paper artsy quote stamps to lie on the grass on a summer's day. I'm guessing that's from the summer edition, which is a plate of quotations about summertime, summer and summertime, which means it can't be less than maybe six years old. I know it can't be more than six years old because that stamp didn't exist. I think I think the summer edition was quite late on. I did for some reason I did autumn, winter and spring quite early in my collections and summer had to wait and wait and wait and probably came within the last four or five years, actually, maybe just before I started doing the botanical stamps. Anyway, enough said. So summertime quote, a little bit of spray in the background, a little bit of torn washi paper, um, washi tape going on and some... Tim Holtz butterflies, very, very simple. Tim Holtz meadow grass stamping, a little bit of extra numbering there. Yeah, see, if that were only a date, I'd know straight away. So that's square page number one with butterflies. And then I clearly decided that this was a butterfly journal because the next page also focuses on butterflies. That's very much a summer day. I think I brayed on some ink or some paint, created some fields used what I think is a fern stamp of by well, somebody's fern stamp don't recognize that to create trees and yes yeah, some Tim Holtz that's a Tim Holtz leaf stamp little clock cabochon a little bit of collaging definitely Tim Holtz field notes stuff and one of the book fragments from their um from the ideology range that is little word stickers found phrases from books they're fabulous very, very good. Clippings, clipping stickers, that's what they're called. So yeah, another butterfly page <laughs> and another butterfly page. So as I say, I'd clearly decided this was this was a butterfly thing going on. I go to nature to be soothed and healed and have my senses put in order. That's definitely from the nature edition. So that's again means that we're definitely looking at within the last probably four or five years. I think I did those here in I think I did all these pages here in the Czech Republic, which would mean it's within the last three and a bit years. 
who knows that's an amazing tim holtz dye that's all one dye that green in the background uh meadow grasses thin lit dye amazing by sizzix and then some of those little flower stickers orange and yellow who knew see they do turn up occasionally there's some very fine crackle texture in the background there and yes, I do go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order. I think that's John Burroughs, who's a writer and a poet and naturalist. <laughs> and another butterfly. So here, that's why these are all Tim Holtz Thinlet's dyes again. And this one, I've added some pen work to just detail in the daisy head there. Torn bread bread bag that looks like bread envelope to me maybe in the background there book pages some little insects flying around nature is painting for us day after day pictures of infinite beauty that's embossed in I would say that's salvaged patina embossing glaze probably I probably stamped it in a in a turquoise sort of color and then embossed over the top with the salvaged patina that's John Ruskin so that's again from the nature edition. I'll I'll try to put details of as much as I can remember <laughs> down in the description below if there's something you want to track down. So another square butterfly page and <laughs> another butterfly page. That's the Tim Holtz blossom stencil going on there. Oh no, it's a background stamp. It's a blossom background stamp. I'm wrong. And this is over some of the watercolour ground that I've mentioned in previous videos. It gives an amazing kind of scritchy, scratchy texture underneath and then a really rough stamping. So you won't get a perfect image over that, but I really like the roughness of the texture makes up for that for me. I, I like that kind of distressed look on the stamping. It's like old wallpaper. Another of the little clock cabochons. These are some little tiny Tim Holtz dies. A little bit of, oh look, that's unusual. Pretty sure that's a Tim Holtz, um, what do they call that? Flare. Never quite understood why that's called flare. Some more clipping sticking stickers. She was wishing to live in the country. She does now. <laughs> um, she's very happy about that. And yes, Tim Holtz ephemera, the butterflies there. Yep, another square butterfly page. Finally, no butterfly. The butterflies flew away. But we do have another of my quotes here. Woods are filled with the music of birds. All nature is laughing under the glorious influence of summer. I'm going to say that's from the summer edition again. Again, more of that gorgeous watercolour ground in the background. And that's just a little watercolour doodle painting I've done. Um probably exploring some new colours. Oh, look, so the watercolour painting is dated 1st of July 2021. That's because I was starting out World Watercolour Month. July is World Watercolour Month. So that was clearly attempting to be the first of many. I'm pretty sure I didn't get very far that year. There are years where I've fully completed World Watercolour Month, but I don't remember doing many more landscape sketches like that. So Clearly this one I decided would make the base of a nice summary journal page. Um, yeah. And here we come into some more, again, I would say something you'll recognise if you're familiar with my tags from Instagram, collaging with the Tim Holtz portraits, lots of meadow grass die cuts, and there's some real meadow grasses going on in there as well glued down with matte medium and some medium over the top just to preserve them for longer hopefully they're inside a book so they've got some protection but yeah i, I really like that effect of the real grasses in amongst the die cut grasses a bit of collaging with tim holtz ephemera and one of the quote chips which as i often do when i'm using them in journals i've peeled some of the cardboard off the back so that it doesn't stick up so far i, I rather like the composition on that one with all those the energy of those flower stems going off in all directions. And of course, the, the little curator snippets labels, which once they were released, which again, I think is within the last three or four years, uh, yeah, became an obsessive part of my collaging. No, no doubt about it. Oh, that's a, that's a really thick page. That's not glued down to something else, is it? Is it just glued down to lots of pages? Hopefully. Um, 
Well, this one I did quite recently. This is a fairly recent endeavour because this is with not only my paper artsy printed tissue in the background and my acorn stamps and it's a it's one of the places you can see how the scale changes between the tissue paper and the original stamp sketch there's one of the tim holtz silhouette birds but this has also got one of the background mats from some of my uh, newer botanical textures stamps the, this was released in february 24 so this is definitely a more recent page learn to be silent let your quiet mind listen and absorb. That comes from Music and Silence, which I think is probably my third collection of quotation stamps. So that goes a long way back. And it's a quote I've loved all my life. That's how the quotation stamp started was, was me, the, the quotes I'd collected in books for years, because I am words. Words was my first creative love. I worked in the theatre for years. Um, words and literature and books and poetry and Shakespeare especially so I had journals full of quotes that then just seemed to me to be crying out to become stamps that one could use on the journal page and this tag here this book page tag flips up in fact you can use the quote as the handle and there's just some little Tim Holtz die cuts in there so it does it continues on the sort of theme of the book rather beautifully all nature that's just a little bit of washi tape holding that down tissue tape and that's the tissue paper so mostly I've not colored it in but I used the matints the paper RC matints to tint those acorns and to tint those acorns and yeah little layered silhouette bird any more oh yes see and here's one that if you've been watching a few minutes of fun you will actually recognize so this page you can watch come into being in an episode of a few minutes of fun i'll link that in the description below if i remember as well those umbellifers there view from the top and the stem are also as i was saying from one of those more recent paper artsy stamp sets so that's eab 38 umbellifer edition where you get the stamps you get some lovely poetry fragments and you get a different background mat that's the background mat we were just looking at is from one of the other three released at the same time fall in love with as many things as possible well that's pretty good advice and yeah one of the paper artsy wrong tim holtz ideology paper dolls that's where my brain was going with paper and again lots of tim holtz ephemera there detail stamping ephemera stamping from my set and some sprayed stenciling in the background that's also available as a separate video spritzing through stencils to create a journal page background and yeah, that's one of the others that got done during that and is waiting for me to do something else with. So another little glimpse inside my creative process, inside the art journals, inside where I like to just play, try things out, use products. You can see the covers are getting messy. I don't mind. It's rather nice. And it matches what's going on inside. So I hope you've enjoyed that little glimpse inside, again, my hidden creative processes. Uh, if so, I hope you'll hit the thumbs up button, leave me comments and questions down below. And if you've not subscribed, it'd be great if you did. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And I hope you'll join me again in the future for some more books, books, books. See you again soon.